What's up, what's going on guys, Captain Monk here. Today's video is also going to get started with a few giveaways. The first one is a reminder for the $400 RP giveaway I had mentioned in my previous video. The giveaway is still taking place for a couple more weeks, so don't hesitate to go and subscribe and or follow as many pages as you'd like, as each one is an entry to win. There will be 8 winners, and each winner will receive $50 worth of RP. The second giveaway is another Asus product. This time we're giving away a Republic of Gamers Sheath Gaming Mouse Pad. This is the same mouse pad the players in the tournament had used while playing on stage, and I'll be the first one to tell you that these mouse pads are great. They are super smooth and perfect for any serious PC gamer. I'll be hosting this giveaway over on my Twitter page where I'll have a post with the instructions to enter there. Both giveaways are linked in the description. Thank you guys for listening and enjoy the video. Uh, early game, very difficult to actually do anything in the lane against the lane bully. You can see zero CS. There's yeah, the walk in. Stay up. Doesn't even flash. Still zero CS. Hasn't been able to get any of them with the Q up in that top lane. This is just going to be oh, a small. horrific lane. Uh -oh. oh, speaking of horrific, there it is. And that's more than oh, 10 no. times. Oh. oh, no, that's dead. Oh, just casual for no reason. Only we, level we have four a sensor ship seven. built up. Need a sensor ship? Oh, oh God. That's painful. There's absolutely nothing you can do in that no. situation. Well, speaking of Xin Zhao and Gages, we actually have a uh, nice little replay of one of his finest in the top lane up here. Uh, tell me what's going on here. Well, uh, when I was seeing how he was doing the top lane earlier on, I was saying actually that, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it three, four, maybe five minutes, and he's going to 1v3 the jungle mid and top because he has the Hex Drinker, so he's got that extra magic damage uh, shield, and he's also got the magic resist, and, well, <laughs> Maybe take my words back because it was actually a one before towards the end there, but yeah. And we are finally going to be going to game number three between Taiwan and Thailand. Gotta credit Emmy. I mean, she was not looking too hot in the first game. But she was the most improved player from game one to two. I think she used her teleport really well. I think she knew where to be with her team. So I think she definitely improved and did not lose out in the one we won as hard as in game one. Small legendary to close this game out. Ten can't even get himself away. Oh god, the Cataclysm, so much damage. Piercing Arrow is going to find another kill there as well as Colin looks on in horror. Uh, we had that lovely 2-0 victory by Monk's team earlier today over Brazil. That's putting him into the semifinals where he's going to be facing off against Emmy and her team from Thailand now. Struggling a little bit to get past Taiwan. We got Peace is a Lie now joining us on the stage. And uh, wow, you guys really changed from game to game to game. Found your Lisa and Jarvan had a lot more carry potential and allowed you to put the team on your back. It was yeah. good to see. <laughs> In the game too, I just want to play what I want to play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to show what I got. Macnoon is going to be okay. Looks like he will be. Yeah. Certainly. Okay, trends. Well, he's going yeah. for it. Does come out. Yeah. We do have all the flash oh. in, the flash to follow. That is going to be that. The best for the audience, maybe not the best for his opponents, or even potentially his teammates, as the Deceive is going to get him the wrong direction. Now not going to be available. Good twisted advance There's comes the in as EGV is actually looking for it. Flashes oh. forward. There it is. <laughs> Aftershock oh. and the one-two punch. Everything should be okay. Okay, Ling Ling in trouble. We'll have to utilize that E to try and get himself a shield. Oh, the oh. fish was collected before the flash, and it's not enough with that barrier, and Wilder a little bit too late to the party. Actually joined now by Mac Noon. Uh, Mac Noon, you got, a, you got a lot to answer for here. You guys did fantastic. Uh, you know, hats off to Korea for that, uh, doing well once again, but strange picks, my friend. I don't speak English. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why did you pick Shaco? Uh... Because it's one of my favorite pick, I'm going to show you guys the best AP Shaco or Taps Raka in this game, hopefully. <laughs> and your team's cool with this? Uh, I'm captain. They can't deny that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. They like that. Malaysia moving themselves over as a unit. Five versus four, taking down every one of these inhibitors. They're playing it by the numbers and they're doing so, so beautifully. Yeah. Oh, Loveland actually falls right on the fountain. Oh god, okay, That's the shutdown comes it. in now for Vecchi as well. All this damage now missing. Inra doing his very best to nimbly jump around, but it's just not going to be enough. Everyone stacks on, and the Callista is going to fall. The last Nexus turret falls down as well, and that was a calculated game from Malaysia. They are going to be able to take down the Nexus.
and China really on the back foot, moving into game number two. The second nexus of this series is going to go down, meaning that our semi-finals have been decided with the addition of Malaysia. I, ne I, ne I never thought the Mala Malaysia win this game. <laughs> wow, life, life is amazing. We have North America coming back. We have Thailand, who had a bit of an upset over Taiwan. And uh, I'm interested to hear your take on this matchup. Revan, you want to start us off with some thoughts? Well, the first I want to say is that right now my heart is a little bit... Uh, uh, broken because I felt not in love, but I got along uh, with Captain Monk a lot, but also with uh, Team Thailand's manager. They are both now my friends, and I just want them both to win. So I'm like a, a bit uh, divided, you know. Well, we've got Captain Monk rejoining us here on stage from Team North America. Uh, another very tidy victory. How are you feeling after that? I'm feeling very great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling entertained, actually. We had a, a lot of fun watching this last match. I'm glad we entertained you guys. <laughs> yeah, was that, a, was that a goal with these picks, or were you just uh, going with what was comfortable? Well, in the draft phase, it was pretty clear they focused flares, as he was one of our stronger players in the first round. So with them focusing all the stuff on him, the bands, yeah. I mean, uh, if we just wanted to have some fun with it and play some Nasus and some other picks. <laughs> Honestly, just looked really clean textbook style. Uh, the only thing you really were set behind was in game number one, where the set was about to pop off. Like, how worried were you about the set? Were you ever thinking, like, you're going to lose the game because of the set being so big? Not exactly. I mean, he was getting to a point of getting pretty dangerous for a while there. But the problem with the team comp that they ran is they couldn't really set up a split push correctly, and that's where Zed needs to have, unless his team is all with him and also ahead. If Zed's the only one ahead, he needs to split push, and his team just wasn't able to set that up for him, so they just fell behind. Well, you guys did make it a little hard for them. <laughs> this is true. We had such good vision control that there wasn't really anywhere they, they could split off and pick us off one by one. I like it a lot, the way that Thailand changes their mindset. At the beginning, they just th make three bands target to flare us, and then when they saw that was not working, they just say, okay, let's go for another thing. <laughs> and I thought that NA was going to first pick, well, actually, blink pick Fiora or Jace or something like that. But then I realized that they just want to have some more fun and play some Nasus. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Flares plays it all. Like, you, you can't ban it out. Like, that's, yeah. that's not an option. And they found that out in the first game and the second game. So uh, is North America hoping, hoping to uh, face off against South Korea tomorrow? Uh, I mean, that's a possibility. We still have more games to see between uh, Malaysia and Korea, but I think Korea getting into the finals is something that uh, people wouldn't be surprised by. I'll definitely be watching Wilder as he's the jungler for the Korean team. And well, being the jungler myself, I know I have a lot to learn from him. He's definitely a really strong player as the Korean uh, League of Legends ladder is probably the most challenging and the most competitive uh, in all the world, right? So like, definitely a lot to watch here. In particular, his decision making? Is it, you know, his, his timing? What would you say is uh, a big factor here? For I him? think I can learn from him in every single aspect, whether it wow. comes to picks, when it comes to vision control, when it comes to gank paths, uh, clearing paths. I mean, I'm going to be watching everything he does. Yeah. Uh, this is too, too, too easy. It is. Well, Tori's also just going to one-shot Sophie. <laughs> what the hell was that damage? That was ridiculous. That was damage. repugnant. Okay, well, uh, Cataclysm's going through. Toxic wants out. He's like, no. Soldiers to me, we're leaving. We're not bothering with this garbage anymore as the ace does come in. Ling Ling finishes him off, and this is going to be the end of the game. Actually, remembering something, or I'm whether just I'm go just with coming it. up with something, as Tori has to flash one more time. Explosive <laughs> shot just means he's dead. This Callista is getting brutalized on the bottom side. Prochi turns up the right time here as well as the box is erected. And now Sophie actually caught. That is going to be dead as the Cataclysm flies forward. But can Becky actually punish this one? Has another explosive shot. Looks for the reset. I'm not going to quite find it, but there it is. Oh, the turret shot Dolan. comes down. Dolan, can he actually get the auto? I don't think so. He's going to have to land the hook. There's no mana He's close to remember. Enough. There's absolutely no other option. And the play is going to be enough. Doesn't need the hook. And now we've got a 2-0-2 Thresh and a 0-3-1 Callista. He's going to fall down. Magnoon, he's just not dying. What is going on here? Toxic, massive pushback, but it doesn't matter. It's basically the triple kill coming in for Tori. Very, very belated. But that's going to be the ace in the end. And South Korea are not to be taken out of the tournament today. Perfection. You know, everything yeah. is perfect. The farm's perfect. The distance <laughs> is perfect. I mean, Monk, as someone who appreciates day-to-day -day these, these plays, what stood out to you here? Well, I really noticed that Talia's farm per uh, minute was almost perfect the entire game. I mean, right here, it's 12 minutes in, 120. You want to have 10 per minute if you can. And 
Yeah, Talia, all look the way through, hook. was pulling that off. Oh. And look at this hook. I'm pretty sure that was blind. <laughs> wow. I don't see any, do you see any red wards? I don't see any red wards. So I'm pretty sure that was a blind prediction of where their team would be rotating from. And that sets up this really clean fight for Korea. Because, yeah, Thresh goes down, but he's the sacrificial lamb in this one to get his team all these kills. Impressive play here. And uh, you you uh, told us to keep an eye on the jungler. Is uh, Wilder still wilding? You got that right. Because uh, <laughs> I was noticing like he was doing a full tank build aside from the warrior enchant uh, for his jungle item. And Kha'Zix was doing a full damage thing, which is the current meta. You have to go full damage as Kha'Zix, otherwise you're just never going to thrive. But despite that, there was a point later on in the game where full damage Jarvan, or sorry, full tank Jarvan, like one shots <laughs> the Kha'Zix. <laughs> and it goes to show you, like as Jarvan, you really don't need to build much damage because he, he has such a high base damage that no matter what, it's going to go through. You guys got to go against this team tomorrow. Any uh, opportunity to pick his brain here? Anything you want to know? Uh, I mean, I've noticed your champion pool for top lane is quite diverse. I mean, you had the AP Shaco, the Soraka top, yes. the Swain top. Yeah. Like, uh, you're, yes. is there any champions the top lane you don't play? Uh, yeah, of course. I, I even play the Tarek top. Tarek top. I'm gonna That's play. I can't play Tarek top against you guys, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually work. It actually works, yeah. Because yeah. you just, what is it you build nowadays? Like it's the Iceborne Gauntlet, right? Oh, sorry. What? You build the Iceborne Gauntlet on Tarek, right? That's the, uh, the glacial uh, fist. I fear the um, Trinity Force. The Trinity Force. Yes. Yeah. Trinity Force Tarek top. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. While I have you here facing each other and obviously very cordial, uh, is there anything you'd like to say to each other? Me first? You Go first, Magnum. I always love America, so I will beat the America dream. So <laughs> I will make the Korean dream. <laughs> I guess we'll see which, which dream lives on, the Korean or the American dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's the Canadian dream faring these days? The Canadian dream is always alive. Always alive. You got that right.